Well, unfortunately, we don't have the gate gate TikTok drama just yet that we were talking about in one of my previous videos, but we definitely have some bizarre TikTok drama to talk about. And what I find very interesting about all the TikTok drama that we cover on this channel, we can never just say that it's between two people, you know, we say their names and that's it. There's always going to be like a different factor, you know, something that makes this drama unique. You know, we had Tattoo Gate, unique because it's about a tattoo. We don't see that very often on TikTok. We also had the DIY TikTokers going at it, you know, that's a genre that we don't really see much drama in. Well, the niche for Today's drama is that we are talking about the gel lady. And in case you're unaware, this is the gel lady, Ashley Elliott. She has 14.8 million followers, so you know, a fairly small TikToker. And I guess the reason why people call her the gel lady is because she's made a bunch of videos like this one, where she puts a bunch of gel in her hair and like slicks her hair back, right? Now, to say these videos get a lot of views is actually a big understatement. I mean, if we're just looking at the views here, we have 27.7 million, 15.6, 14.9, 17.3, 18.4, 34.5, like, these are stupid numbers. And you know what? I respect it. She has found a niche that clearly works and she's doing incredibly well off it. And to be fair, in this situation we're talking about today, I feel really bad for her. So to give some context, throughout the years, Ashley has done a bunch of videos with her husband. These videos have now been deleted, which will make a lot more sense later, but it'd be this type of stuff. First, we're gonna put on this fat ass maxi pad. All right, next, we're going with the face mask. You like a damn fool. You know, kind of your standard husband does like my routine and all that stuff, right? Well, people really liked watching these videos. They really liked seeing Ashley's relationship and enjoyed seeing them have a laugh on camera, right? Well, this actually changed very quickly when just over a week ago, Ashley posted this video where she is incredibly vague, but also very detailed at the same time. Just imagine this, imagine it, okay? You find a man, he's amazing, he's making great money, and he wants to take care of you for the rest of your life. And you decide, cool, I just get to be home, raise the kids, he's gonna be the hardworking man he is, and he's gonna take care of us. Now imagine 20 years later, he finds somebody else that's younger, more beautiful, and he leaves you. Yeah, so the reason why I said she's been very vague and very detailed at the same time is because this theoretical situation is very detailed, right? The reason why this is vague is because when you're watching this, you're thinking, right, so is this actually just a theoretical situation or has this actually happened? Because she doesn't actually mention that this is to do with her husband or anything throughout this video, but you can imagine people definitely took it as that. Somebody might tell you today, hey, I love you, I love you, I would never, ever, ever, ever do that to you. But in five years, 10 years, 15 years, people change. And that's the reason I will never stop working for my own money. Yeah, so like I said, she doesn't actually mention her husband, but if things were 100%, you would imagine that she wouldn't say that kind of last bit of the video, right? That, oh, I wouldn't put it past anyone, things can change. Because if things were going really well, you probably wouldn't say that online because people would definitely assume. Or maybe you would, maybe I'm wrong. But people definitely assumed. I mean, look at these top comments, which by the way, one's got 73,000 likes on a comment. Yeah, people would definitely invest in this situation, but let's see what the comments say. No, Ashley, do not tell me he did this. What? Girl, what? What happened? Are y'all okay? She deleted all of their videos together. Yeah, so this was the point when people noticed that her videos with her husband were all deleted, and when you pair this with the fact that she's no longer wearing her ring, and she's just made a video saying what she just said, it would be very safe to assume that there's something wrong here. Well, in fact, after people started assuming here, Ashley actually made a follow-up video saying that this wasn't direct at anyone, it is a theoretical situation, but still dropped a few hints that there was something wrong. You guys, this is not my situation right now. I was just telling you the reason I will always work and why I would teach my daughter not to depend on a man financially. This has nothing to do with me. I literally brought up a scenario saying if you were married to a man for 20 years, you've never had a job, you've never had any skill sets because you thought he would take care of you for the rest of your life and imagine if he left you for somebody else. It was a scenario. It's a scenario that has scared me since I was a, a girl. Which, yeah, is all fine and dandy. It could have been a theoretical situation, but again, when you pair this with the fact that the videos are gone and she's no longer wearing her ring, it does seem like something's going on and people still believe that even after this video. But Ashley does go on to address this stuff and she gives pretty good answers for it. All the videos of my husband have been removed from all of my platforms. And I understand that this raised a lot of concerns, especially because a lot of you guys follow us for our couples content. But I did start this channel by myself in 2020. I've always loved being on social media and he did not. 
Over time, I talked him into being on my social media and we saw how well the videos did of us together. So we just continued, but it was something that I was most definitely much more passionate about. But he no longer wants this lifestyle. Which, by the way, is very fair enough. A lot of people do actually get involved in, like, their couples or their friends' videos and then realise that they don't really want this lifestyle when they start getting recognised in public. That is something that a lot of people don't want, so that makes sense. He doesn't want to be recognised every single time he goes out in public. Quote-unquote fame is not what everybody wants. We no longer have any kind of privacy, but that just comes with the territory of being a social media influencer, and I'm okay with that. He is not. Yeah, I mean, again, fair enough. It's a good reason, right? But then, at the end of this video, she says something that kind of makes it seem as if that maybe isn't the full story. But I will continue to make content just like I did when I first started. And as far as the ring, you guys have noticed it's been off my finger for a couple weeks now, and that's just something that I want to keep private right now. So yeah, at this point, it clearly seems like something is going on and she doesn't want to talk about it, which she has every right to not talk about it. I mean, she has children with this man. If she wants to keep the situation private, she has every right to do so. But at this point, the situation became very public and a few details became very public, but it wasn't because of what Ashley said. In fact, this TikToker here called Monique decided to react to Ashley's video and just insert herself into the situation publicly. So I will give some context before we play the clip because it is very confusing. In fact, I had to actually look at a bunch of like TikTok videos of people explaining the whole situation because this whole thing is very confusing. I will say dead quick, shout out this person, T with Lady or Laddie. I'm sorry if I've butchered that, but she's made a bunch of videos kind of explaining the situation very well. It helped a lot. But long story short, Monique here is a sex worker and she had recently been messaging Ashley's husband. Now, Monique is in a relationship herself, but she's in an open relationship. And I guess Ashley's husband reached out to her and they never met in person, I believe. Nothing happened in person, but there was some inappropriate conversations between the two. Now, obviously, her side of it is that Ashley's husband was just one of her clients and she's just doing her work which is fair enough but in these videos she comes across as very passive aggressive almost like bragging about it and no one actually knew she was involved until she told people she was involved which you would think there should be some like uh confidentiality is that the word here some privacy you know for like your, your client and whatnot and also just privacy for ashley in general like now everybody knows what the situation is when she clearly didn't want everyone to know what the whole situation was but either way i'll play monique's video hopefully with the added context it won't be as confusing Using. I don't have a lot of time to say what I want to say because I am currently evacuating for a hurricane. Can I just say, by the way, the fact that she is currently evacuating for a hurricane and still found the time to go online and insert herself in a situation to make it far worse than it already was, because now there's a bunch of public opinions, bit bizarre. First, I want to say that I am not blasting this girl's business. She is quite literally blasting herself. I mean, yeah, she did make a few videos being very vague, but she didn't go into much detail at all. We still don't really know what the situation is but now you're about to tell us, so it's a bit different to the way you're explaining it. I don't know what else is going on in their home. I don't know what side of the story he gave her, what he has said or not. And if she doesn't want to reach out, that's fine. I am not the kind of woman that says, don't come at me as a woman. If you have a question, feel free to ask, and I will decide if I want to answer or not. Now, while the first time she came at me was not crazy, and I did respect it, I did get a little uh when I started seeing things like, I'm going to raise my daughter to be da 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 when all I have is daughters. Yeah, so she starts going into the fact that she believes that Ashley was kind of like subtweeting her, just not on Twitter, like she was posting like a bunch of like vague Facebook posts that she thought was about her. Now, Ashley goes on to explain later that these posts are old in the sense that they were before she even knew who Monique was. So posts along the lines of be the woman that you want your daughter to be, right? Monique took that as a dig against her, but it was before Ashley even knew who she was. So apparently she's just looking too much into it. First of all, I want to make it very clear. We did not meet up in person. Second of all, even though there was communication, um, I think there was a reason. I don't feel like this man is heard, and now I feel like he's being slightly bashed on the internet. And she might not be wrong for this, she might have a whole different image of what's going on. Well, I mean, if he was having inappropriate conversations with another woman, I don't really know how else you can take that. Now, obviously, Monique is in an open relationship, so it may be different in her relationship, right? But... Ashley and her husband didn't. So yeah, I would say the fact that he was having inappropriate conversations with another woman probably isn't the best news to hear. 
And she probably hasn't taken it the wrong way, really, has she? He did mention multiple times that he did try to communicate these things, but obviously they weren't heard if I see that it's still going on. He didn't have to say that. Yeah, so now she's just getting into, like, the problems of Ashley and her husband's relationship, which, again, didn't he be out there? No one knew who Monique was regarding this situation before this. She has just inserted herself in it, and now she's just airing out, like, private information, which is very strange behavior. My opinion, if he was lacking in other areas of the home and didn't want to make content, okay, then what the hell? But if he is there for the children, if he is there for you, then if this is something you find enjoyable, and even if it's not enjoyable for you, but if it's something you're good at, I understand he's your partner, but notice how my house is getting trashed right behind me. Yeah, I'm sorry, she is saying so many words without saying practically anything. Do you see what I mean about how this video is very confusing? I mean, if we look at the comments right now, we've got, what are you talking about? What did she say? Bro, who else has no idea what's happening? Yeah, she could have done a better job with explaining it. The first time I saw this video, I genuinely had no idea. I, I was lost. I had literally no idea what was going on. But Monique carried on posting more videos about this situation, like this one where she's replying to a comment. What is with you? She didn't ask questions. You're not asking questions. But both of y'all are coming at me with assumptions. Okay, so yeah very short but one thing she does say here is that she didn't ask questions and all this stuff and she said in the previous video that if she wanted to talk she would but she has also said previously that ashley did message her and in fact in a live stream i was watching off monique apparently ashley was just kind of saying the general stuff you would say when you found out that your, your husband was doing that right which i assume is asking questions yeah she's very confusing I can't lie. She, she is a very confusing person. But obviously at this point, millions of people now knew the context of this situation and what had actually happened and knew more information than Ashley wanted people to know. So Ashley ends up making a video, as you can see here, that says addressing it, where she does just that. I had every intention of keeping the details of my marriage private. Yes, I did hint to you guys that I wasn't okay and my marriage wasn't okay. Did I share any details? No. And the reason I even let you guys in just a little bit was to show that I'm real with real problems. The last thing I wanna be is a content creator who only shows all the perfect moments because that's not real. And I wanted people to know if they're going through something, they're not alone. I mean, to me, that is fair enough, right? She was telling people that things aren't overly great right now and that might be something that you see in future videos and she was just making people aware that that was the case but she didn't want to go into too much detail which again she has every right to do but the fact that someone else who was basically like a third party in this situation who got herself involved is now making it publicly known that she got involved and was a bit passive aggressive about it all like yeah i, I feel really bad for ashley number one you guys will never catch me bashing my family on the internet and whether my husband is my husband or my ex-husband he is my family Number two, I have never in my life bullied or targeted somebody on social media. I did not make one post about this person. And majority of these posts that I made were before I even knew she existed. I had no idea that she had a BBL. I thought she looked natural. Good job. Yeah, this was another post that Monique thought was about her because Ashley posted a picture of her where she was like, Oh, it might not be perfect, but I'm natural or, or something along them lines. She says that this was all before Monique was even in the picture, which could definitely be true. Uh, Monique could just be looking far too much into it. Before I even knew she existed, I made a post on my Facebook that said, be the woman you'd want your daughter to be. And that was before I even knew she existed. I said that because I was going through something internally and I thought to myself, how would I want my daughter to handle this as a woman? Yeah, I mean, that's a very general statement to make, right? I've heard lots of people say very similar statements to that. Be the woman you want your daughter to be. That doesn't really sound like she is targeting someone there. I think that's actually a way that most people want to live their lives when they have kids. And the last thing I want to address is this narrative that I forced my husband to make videos. I know that we've always had that role where he was annoyed and I was the one who enjoyed the videos. And that was agreed upon. 
social media is bringing us in twenty thousand dollars a month yeah i mean that's not exactly like a unique concept right in her videos she would come across as kind of like the wife who loves doing tiktok videos and oh i'm dragging my husband into the videos he doesn't really want to be there but he's gonna get involved how many couples do that that is literally a very common thing on this app to me it definitely didn't seem like he was being forced to be there it seemed like they were just played into it but that's just my opinion i wanted to keep this information private i wanted to work this out in my marriage but somebody wanted their 15 minutes of fame and they got it that's what it definitely seems like to me it seems like in my opinion monique saw her opportunity and she was like oh i can latch onto this she even said in previous videos that she knew who ashley was before she started speaking to her husband she said that she watched ashley for two years before this situation so she was kind of like a fan really right so she was probably buzzing that she was in this scenario and now she can use ashley's 14 point whatever million followers to get some fame out of herself which again is such a dodgy thing to do especially when both people in the situation are remaining private they don't want to speak about it actually made it very clear she wanted to be private and it's not monique's marriage right yeah she was involved because she was talking to the husband but no one knew she was involved no one really knew who she was in relation to ashley and she decided to get involved and air out their private business it it's dodgy behavior to her and i apologized for the backlash she was getting from my followers. And I told her personally that none of my posts had anything to do with her. And then she continued to say that I was targeting her and bullying her. And I know y'all don't know me personally, but anybody that knows me in real life knows that's just not me. That has never been me. I have never bullied anybody a day in my life. I know I sound irritated and it's because I am. But at the same time, I understand that I have put so much of my life out there on social media and a moment like this was bound to happen and I'm going to take it on the chin. But one thing I just cannot tolerate is people speaking bad about my family and my husband is my family. Whether we work this out or not, he is my family. I mean, look, she's been very respectful in this video, right? Like she just said there, she's not going to bash her husband even if this situation is true in terms of like how Monique explained it. I think she's handled herself very well in a situation that must be incredibly tough, especially when millions of people are now invested in asking questions every single day. I have nothing against her. I'm irritated that I'm being lied on. I have nothing against her. This, none of this is her fault. What's going on in my life and in my marriage is not her fault. This is something me and my husband need to figure out. And I wanted so badly to keep so much of this information private, but I wasn't given that opportunity. But that's the life I chose, I guess. I love you guys, and for now, I need to log off. Yeah, look, to me, that's a very good statement. She remained respectful whilst also answering some questions that people had. She's saying, don't send hate to anybody involved in the scenario. Like, she's handled it really well. And the thing is, with a situation like this, if it is true, Ryan, it is exactly how Monique explained it, Obviously, the husband, Ashley's husband, is definitely more in the wrong than Monique, right? But I think it was just the way she handled it, which was very strange, you know? Like, airing out people's, like, private lives publicly for millions of people to see for really no reason. Again, no one knew she was involved. She even changed her bio on TikTok, as we can see here, to Internet Home Wrecker, which is just, like, weird behavior. Like, why are you boasting about the fact that you're a home wrecker? I don't get it. But yeah, Ashley has posted a few videos since this, which are pretty brief. Like, we've got one here saying, I'm okay. There's so much more to the story that y'all don't know. I'm healing, but it feels like I'm mourning a death. There was also this video that I'm not going to play the entirety of because it's just quite sad, to be honest. But it is actually just talking about the fact that she is going through this. It's going to be a process. She's trying to heal and it's going to take some time. So yeah, like I said, this must be incredibly tough, especially when you add the fact that now millions of people know about it and are asking about it 24 7 i do feel incredibly bad for her uh obviously time is going to be the biggest thing here because it is still really fresh over time i'm sure that it will start to get easier but right now it must be like incredibly tough but yeah that's kind of like all the details we have at this point i would love to know your opinions down below i'll also repeat the fact like what ashley said here obviously don't send anyone here involved in this that should just be like a constant statement in all my videos by the way i just feel like that should go without even being said people should know that by now 
never fucking message people privately or send them fucking like really nasty hate comments and all that stuff regardless of what video i've done that that should just be a given at this point i know the vast 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 majority of people who watch my videos wouldn't do that by the way but you know what ashley said it i'll repeat it but either way let me know your thoughts down below if you did enjoy please do a like down below subscribe if you are new and until the next one i'll see you guys in a bit all right goodbye